Shalom Saints, welcome to Heart of Worship. It is always good to be together as brothers and sisters in the Lord and um, just worship the Lord together. And today I would like to read Ephesians 5 from verse 15. Look carefully then how you walk, not as unwise, but as wise making the best use of the time because the days are evil therefore do not be foolish but understand what the will of the lord is and do not get drunk with wine for that is debauchery but be filled with the spirit addressing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody to the Lord with your heart, giving thanks always and for everything to God the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, submitting to one another out of reverence for Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. We bless the name of the Lord for his word. We are indeed in evil days. And here the scripture is showing us, you know, many of us are wondering how will we navigate through the times that we face. Um, but here we should look carefully how we walk. Amen. Amen. Because there is a reason why the days are going evil. Our Lord Jesus is coming very soon. So as he is coming soon, we as his children need to be more sanctified every day. We should be prepared and ready and prepare spiritually to meet with the Lord because he is a holy God. Now, making the best use of our time. There are so many things pulling us away. So many things demanding our attention that it is easy to be swallowed in the busyness of life and forget what really matters, which is the Lord himself and spending time with him. So do not be foolish, says the word here, but understand what the will of the Lord is. And I think that is very important. As believers, what drives you every day? What is the vision that you have every day when you wake up? Do you seek the Lord to understand his will? Because we are all driven by our own project and our dreams mm -hmm. and what we want to achieve and what we want to accomplish. Mm -hmm. But do we come before the Lord, humble ourselves and say, Lord, what is your will? I want to understand. Give me insight into what you want to do so that I may align to your will. Amen. Amen. And he says, do not be drunk with wine. Other translation says, which is dissipation. Here it says debauchery, but be filled with the spirit. Here is the key. Now already in Acts 1, 8, Jesus told his disciples, you shall receive. And many times before that, in the book of John, he said, I will send a helper. Mm -hmm. So to go through the evil days, we have a helper. And the helper is a teacher. And he's the one who empowers us from within. You cannot do it by yourself. I will repeat it over and over and over again. If Jesus needed his baptism, he needed the spirit to come over him. And if the disciples needed Acts chapter 2, who are we mm -hmm. to think we can do it on our own with our willpower? Mm -hmm. We cannot. Mm -hmm. And here the scripture says, maybe you've been filled once, but he says, seek to be filled again. Mm -hmm. Seek to be filled every day. He said, do not be drunk with wine. When you're drunk with wine, the next day you, the next day you become sober again. Mm -hmm. 
For you to be drunk again, you need to drink again. All right. So it is with the Holy Spirit. We need to be constantly at the feet of the Lord. And it shows us how. He said by addressing one another in Psalms. Hymns, spiritual songs, singing and making melody to the Lord in our hearts. So there is a condition, there is a, a way of entertaining Holy Spirit that we can constantly be filled from within. Now, this feeling is a well inside of us that springs up. Amen. In Acts 2, the Bible says the Spirit came upon them. But now the feeling that happens is from within. It fills us. The wells within us rise up to overflow. And that's what we seek. So today as we worship, this is the attitude that I want you to have. I want to be filled. I want you to spring up a wells from within me. So as we sing, if you speak in tongues, we're going to worship the Spirit also in tongues. We're going to worship the Lord and allow Holy Spirit to utter mysteries. Because those mysteries are God's will declared through our mouths. Mm. And maybe your mind does not understand it, but your spirit mm. is capturing it. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. The Lord is good and I know that He wants to fill you right now. As we sing and make melodies unto Him. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you for the gift of your Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord, that the water that we have received will become rivers, rivers of living water. So we bless you, our God. That even in the evil days, we know that you are with us. And yes, Lord, we want to understand your will. That you will be revealed through us in the last days. That we will be the light that shines in the darkness. That ne like never before, we will seek to know you. And to be sanctified in your presence
for you. 
just feel the presence of the Lord right now. That the Lord will give visions. He will give vision. That you will move with purpose. You will move intentionally. Not just following whatever wind blows. But the Lord will direct your steps. And he will give you a clear vision. A clear vision. So that you are more fruitful. Because many are complaining that they are not fruitful. Fruitfulness comes with obedience to his voice. So vision, just receive vision right now. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord, that your mercies are new every morning. And we can wait on you every morning for the new vision. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. We bless your name. bless you as you constantly seek to be filled with the Holy Spirit. Shalom.